Hey, bro, you heard of that new Silver Surfer Omnibus that's coming out by Dan Slott? Yeah, bro, OPV's going to get it pretty soon. I'm pretty excited for it. You know he's going to use it for the uh, intro video, right? Dude, of course. I mean, we're Galactuses. We have Silver Surfers right here. Why would he not use that? You're right, bro. You're right, bro. You know, there's no contest, no competition. It's not like he has any other Silver Surfer themed stuff here. So we're definitely a shoe in, right? Wait, we're forgetting one thing. One big thing. One giant thing. Oh, bro. What's up guys? We're so excited for this book that's about to come out. Uh, we have to bring out the big gun, the biggest uh, hand. You know, we had to get the, I got the, had, ah! I had to get the biggest hand to give me a hand with this. Uh, we're looking today at Dan Slott's Silver Surfer Omnibus. And uh, as you can see here, it's presented on Galactus's hand. Uh, I can probably easily say this, probably this is the biggest hand you can find on any statue. This thing is massive as you can see, and it's holding up those two books easily. And, uh, you know, it really does complement the book. Yeah, this uh, is our reading stand. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, and uh, let's take a look here. Now we're going to be looking at Dan Slott's Silver Surfer. This one is the... Uh, DM. The DM, which... I believe. Yeah, you're right, you're right, yes. This is the standard. Let me show you the standard first. Here's the front. The spine. And the back. All right. And then the, the DM... Uh, I think it's such a such a nice cover. That's really really cool. Very pop art, uh, which this whole series is very pop art, as you can see, uh, or we're gonna see. And then the back, of course. Let me put this, the two backs together so you can see. So we have again standard right here, DM on this side. Standard has a lot more art. Yeah. Now I, the reason I would say you should get the DM here's my personal preference is because the spread is actually the cover for the standard. So if you buy the DM, you have the standard already because this is the same as the standard cover, this part. So I mean, why, you know, you're going to take off the cover, it's going to be the same. No, get the DM, then you can get this right here. It's, a, it's the same as the standard. Just my personal choice, you know. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look. You want to look down here? I don't think you can open it. Actually, you look. Oh, you can? Yeah. But then I can't. I have to hold the tripod. <laughs> I have to All hold right, it. All right. <clears throat> All right, we'll put it down. <laughs> JP doesn't want to tire himself out. JP's sick. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be me, the baby. Um, all right. So this is definitely a very pop art, uh, different style for Silver Surfer. You know, we've seen like the hyper-realistic one, uh, very action-y. This one is definitely more pop art. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably more uh, character-driven story uh, than like action-y. But it looks really good. I actually like this style for Civil Surfer because he deals with very like out there, uh, you know, worlds. So he would he would be at home like in this kind of pop art style. Very cool. I heard this one was a really good run for Silver Surfer. But those of you guys who did read a lot of Silver Surfer, let us know what is the best omnibus to read. Why where's a good jumping point to like know more about Silver Surfer? Yeah, yeah, because there's also like the I know there's the one the that leads from Silver Server Black, that kind of leads into oh, the yeah. whole uh, Null, Venom World, all that stuff. So, you know, where would you uh, want to start off if you had to start off with Eternity? Very cool. Now, this contains Silver Surfer from, from 2014, number 1 through 15, as well as Silver Surfer from 2016, and number 1 through 14, and materials from the all-new Marvel Now, point one, number 1, by Dan Slott. Very cool. Yeah, so this is straightforward reading. There's no, like, crazy tie-ins or anything. Yeah. So, very nice. I don't like this. That you can just pull off his, his helmet like that? What? Oh. Ah. Uh. That's weird to me. Okay. But if you've read this, let us know. Do you like this story? Again, you're right. How does it compare to other Silver Server stories? Yeah. Oh, look at Galactus. He said I need, to, I need a costume change, too. You know? 
This is this is what he wears to prom. The uh -huh. Galactic prom. He says, "I'm gonna meet my date. I gotta look better." This art style is very interesting. It's very sci-fi. It looks like ex ecstatic kind of. Yes, it reminds me of ecstatic. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And like I said, even the child, the style for him, he's not really like shiny silver. It looks more like white kind of. So again, you know, if, if it's the art style of that like 50s pop kind of like that with the little points. And I, you know, like I said, it work, it would work for Silver Surfer because he goes to these universes that are just like, or worlds that are crazy. Like that, look at that, that's so cool. What is that devil? Oh, still biter man. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so let's see if there's any extras in the back of this one. Uh, this is a, uh, a pretty small omnibus, I gotta say. Alright, there you go. That's funny. He's eating the world like a cereal bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> Very abstract. See, this is the kind of Silver Surfer I'm used to where it's just like... Is that Deadpool planking on Silver Surfer's board? That's... that's 2014? Yeah, that was the year of the plank. Oh my god. Alright, then there's some of that, uh, I guess, the overview. How they wrote the story. Very crazy. This girl, who I don't know who it is, but if you do know, let me know where she's important. This is the cor the cover, of course, of the standard, as well as the spread that's in the book underneath the dust jacket. All right, some sketches, uh, storyboards, as you can see here. Very cool. All right, there you go, guys. So, you know, you can't get one of these, but you can definitely get one of these omnibuses at Organic Prize Books, guys. And I will see you in the next one.